Well, there you go. Not every star or celebrity wants something as simple as a few pairs of socks or a waterproof radio to make them happy. When the rich and famous want something a little different, they call this man. Steve Sims runs an international concierge company. He's organised a birthday present for a man who wanted to take a supersonic jet flight in Russia and help someone else see the Titanic at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, it seems. There are no limits when money is no option. Steve, good morning to you. Hey, how are you? Good morning. Oh, what wow. a job. Now, is there anything <laughs> you've never been able to organise? There's... It sounds arrogant. There's nothing that we've never been organised, but there's a lot of times that we just go, you know, we're not going to do that for you because uh, sometimes people do it for alternate reasons or, you know, not the right reason at all. Can you tell okay. us without naming names? No, but you, you, you get people that sometimes want to like, make sure that seat's next to someone else at the Oscars or they want to make sure that that table's sat next to someone else at Spargo or something because they've got a plot line or a product they're trying to pitch. And we're into the pleasure market, you know, business, you know, that's what gives you the money to pay for my services. You know, we're just, yeah. we're out there for the fun only. So, how do you manage to organise these sorts of things? <laughs> is it that you just know everybody or is it money talks? Everything's money talks. got a price. Money talks, and especially over the last few years as well, you know, mo most doors kind of like are well greased. You know, you show up with a big enough joke, but doors wide open, welcome in, red carpet's out. But uh, in the past, it's been a case of we've tried to, to create these relationships and, and get the people's requests come true. And then as, you know, we're in our 16th year now, we've, we, as you know, we've just opened up in uh, Australia. And, and quite simply, when we go to someone and say, look, we, we need to borrow an elephant for this weekend, or, you know, we need to make sure we can get to the penthouse, or can you open up that exclusive party? We'll often follow that up with, because this is what we've done in the past, this is the standard we're at, and if they didn't know who we were when we made the call, the sure as hell do once they've read the kind of things that we've been up to. Right. So who are the people that use these services, and also particularly given you've opened here in Australia? I mean, obviously we're talking serious money. Um, yes and no. We're actually, uh, there's a few things. You've got one end where the, the, the checkbook's got like a, a lot of zeros and your, your bank statement comes on a landscape format because it's so big. You, we got those people that just find up and say, I want to go to the Titanic, or, you know, I want, a, I want a mansion, or they've seen something like Harry Potter and they go, hey, I want to rent that castle for the weekend. And they don't realise it's, you know, animated. So you, you get those kind of requests. <laughs> um, I like the, the Demolition Derby kind of thing that we were talking about. But we've also got something that we're bringing out called Blue by Bluefish, which is a little taste of luxury. And it's, those, it's an appetizer of things that are possible because, let's be serious, we should all be able to drive a Ferrari, you know, walk the red carpet, enter a fashion. We, we should all okay. be able to experience these things. So, so you do those things which, you know, is, is not hugely extravagant, is expensive, but might right. be a special birthday present for a loved one yeah. or whatever. You yeah. don't need to be a rock star. Correct. Correct. Oh, that's interesting. That's yeah, we've got, a lot of, uh, we've got a lot of the high-end clients and we've got a lot of uh, uh, very wealthy, unknown clients. You know, mm. the, the, the head of a building, someone that owns like 20 dealerships, uh, you know, maybe owns a, a print factory. And like once a year they want to go to Monaco and hang out with a prince or they, they want to go to a, an award show, you know, the Oscars or whatever. You know, they, they, we have these kind of things. Okay. Cool. That All is right. extravagant. Thank you, Steve. I know, that's what I'm thinking. If that's mm. not extravagant, then wow, my life. Well, we'll hook you up. All, all right, right yeah. <laughs> I haven't got the checkbook with all the zeros, but thanks anyway. All right. Good to talk to you.